All right, so final day here in Southern California. It's kind of an overcast day. It's been a really good trip. This is the first trip where I've been able to sort of drive around without my phone, you know, without the Maps app, kind of know my way around. Also, I've been getting an early start, uh, which is great. Like I've gone to Vasquez Rocks, Laguna Beach, Malibu, and I've left around six in the morning, 6.30, and I've had no traffic. So that is the hot tip, get out early. There's always traffic coming home, but at least I've had my fun, and so I could be more patient. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're heading over to Leo Carrillo to check out the surf. Uh, we just checked out um, North Zuma, and it was kind of blown out, and yeah, so hopefully Leo Carrillo will be good, and then we'll do a painting too. So it could be a gray day painting, but it's my last day. I want to make the most of it. I'm just happy to be out and having fun. Point break. First point break. In the place where a point break was filmed. Literally. clouds, hills in the background, also some shadows on the hills. Here's my composition, just kind of sketched it out in burnt sienna. Just rough placement of the main objects, primarily the trees. Also like how the trees are kind of windswept. I want to be sure to capture that feature. Arias doing kind of the same composition, right? Exactly the same thing, yeah. Yeah, so big tree, the smaller one Lamp, here. Three trees, maybe have some gap in the middle. The hillside's going to come running down this way. I'm gonna try to focus on the clouds. Mid-tone maybe for that, do you think? For the color of the sky. Definitely mid-tone, yeah. Yeah, because if you go too high value, you lose all the saturation. Yep. And that's also what makes the clouds stand out if you can like delineate those with a nice strong blue color. Exactly, exactly right. You have so much apprehension. Yeah. yeah. This subject matter is kind of not typical for both of us, so we're sort of taking our time and really carefully observing. I really enjoy times like this where it's just you know where you are doing a really careful study and you're like you know i don't care if the painting comes out i just want to figure some stuff out exactly All right, so looking at this cloud, the underside of the cloud is not much darker than the sky that's next to it. I'm going more for like a temperature shift than a value shift, but I've got to make sure that I got the value of the sky here correct. I think this is too dark. So, because I want more contrast with the hill, so I'm gonna lighten this up. I'm just gonna try to add some titanium white to lighten it. All right, now for the bottom of the cloud. Might be a little dark. So does that look like a proper value shift right there? Hill, sky. Yeah, I think that's right. You know, the hill is definitely darker than the sky. Uh, I think it's close. I think you're pretty much right on. 
on there. Yeah, I'll put in the rest of the clouds and then see how it looks. The other thing that was interesting, I added purple to the hills here, because like, I mean, it's, it's warm over there, but there's, you see how there's the purplish tones mm -hmm. up on top? Yeah, there's patches of cool purplish. Right, exactly. So having that, that violet or purple playing against the warm yellowish uh, kind of, you know, creates a, a feeling of light out there. It does, that works. I'm yeah. just gonna move on from this and just try to do something else. I think, Okay, so Araya and I were both a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, Araya did two paintings and wiped out both of them. Like I said earlier, I think it's important to have days where you just go out and try to learn something. You try to experiment, and I feel like we did that, and, and we both ended up having a good time. So this was supposed to be my last day in Southern California, but on the way home from Malibu, my car started acting really weird. All these lights were flashing. By the time I got to my daughter's, it was pretty much dead. Uh, so, <laughs> I had it towed to a Ford dealership 13 miles away. Thank you, AAA. It was free. <laughs> All right, let's hope for the best. But they got back to me yesterday morning and told me the repairs would be $7,200 for some sort of wire harness. So, I decided to just junk the car and get a new one. So I've got a new surf paint mobile. Let's take a look. Okay, Honda Fit is the new paint surf mobile. It's the most basic model you could get. It's just got hubcaps, no frills at all. Now the one thing about this is these seats somehow fold down. These seats, I mean, look at this cargo space freaking huge in here actually it could be cool to like back this thing up to the ocean you know have some pillows here and just like and a sparkly water <laughs> all right so you may have noticed that i used a different brush for this painting i used a number four synthetic bright um and you know it's kind of just scrubbing in here on these branches um i used a smaller brush because i wanted to get some of the little intricate shapes of the trees so i i kind of took my time, um, you know, kind of picking away at those shapes. And also too in the clouds, it was also helpful in the clouds to have that smaller brush and just kind of going for these like scrubby directional strokes. I do consider this sort of just an experimental sketch, but um, I did achieve, I think what I wanted to, which was, you know, just to kind of experiment with, uh, especially in the clouds, getting the values correct. You know, there's some good color, some good blue in the sky and yet it's still light in value uh, so that the trees stand out. Another thing I was attracted to is this sort of blue-green bush here, which I think was the beginnings of a eucalyptus tree. Um, so I had fun trying to get um, that blue-green color. Uh, I think that worked out. And a sense of depth also for this distant hill. And overall the composition isn't bad either. So um, yeah, so I think it was a fun experiment. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, uh, there's a Patreon link down below. Other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey.